Welcome to Rio de Janeiro. I'm Yuka Maria, I was born in Rio, and I will review for you some of the hidden treasures of my city. In each episode, I will take a different tourist to spend a whole day with me around places that only local knows. You will get to know a little bit more about the famous Carioca way of life and how we have fun. I'm sure it's gonna be an unforgettable experience for all of us. A whole day from dust to down. This is Enjoying Rio. Let's go! Enjoying Rio. Enjoying Rio. In Rio, enjoying life is a top priority. That's why today we are going the Carioca way. If you're up to feeling the true essence of the marvelous city, you can't miss our favorite hangouts, the Bohemian neighborhoods of Lapa and Santa Teresa. So, do you want to go low-key like a local? The artsy hilltop neighborhood of Santa Teresa is the place, with hip botecos and restaurants for all tastes and budgets. What about a true taste of Rio's nightlife? In that case, Lapa is a must-go party central. This district is perfect for bar hopping and clubbing. Our Bohemian adventure ends at a traditional summer school rehearsal. You cannot get more carioca than that. Let's go downtown and up the hills to enjoy the other side of Rio. We are at Lapa, historical, cultural heart of Rio, to meet our very special guest from Argentina, Constanza. Well, as you see, things might look pretty calm right here, right? But calm down. We'll be back later when this place will be bustling of party people. Lapa is the cradle of Bohemian Rio. The district colonial aqueduct and its colorful spots promise cultural experiences way beyond the evening. Believe me. Constanza is staying at Books Hostel, a perfect venue for anyone looking for a Bohemian experience. Felipe the owner, also known as the captain, is always around. He definitely knows how to sail his boat. We created Books Hostel four years and 11 months ago. We receive many people from all around the world. In some days we have people from more than 20 different countries here. And we, I think we could uh, offer some experience that connect them with the idea they have in Brazil. And it's, it's something really rewarding for me to be able to feel that I can change the idea of people about the city I was born. Bom dia. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna bring you to some places and we need energy. Yeah. Right. Are you into dancing? I like dancing, yeah, yeah. very much. Yeah. So you're you're from Argentina, right? I'm Argentina. Mm. Have you ever tried some um samba? Never. 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 And I always had the wheel, you know? Like oh. it seems so much fun. That's with these costumes. <laughs> Let's have a funny day, baby. Okay, great. Are you in? Yeah. Well, let's sure, let's go. <laughs> well, our first stop today are the Celaron Steps. Lapa and the artsy hillside neighborhood of Santa Teresa are connected by a frenetic piece of art. Looking up the Celaron Steps, we can see the vibrant mosaic with tiles from all around the world. At the foot of the stairs, you will find local artisans selling beautiful items. That's just a taste of what we are about to see in Artsy Santa Teresa. Oh, why don't you take a picture over there? Sure! Yeah, of course. Give me your cell phone. Please. Smile. 
This unique grand scale artwork was named after the Chilean artist Jorge Celaron. He dedicated over 20 years of his life to work on this tribute to the Brazilian people. There are 215 steps. Wow. Can you believe it? Yeah. Look, Tango! And this looks a little bit like San Telmo, where oh, Tango really? started. Oh, which yeah. actually has like some kind of vibe with this place here. What about the lifestyle in your country? Is it too different from here? If we compare Buenos Aires with Rio, uh -huh. well, the main uh, difference is the beach, right? That we yeah. don't have. So I think that Buenos Aires is a little bit more urban, maybe. Mm -hmm. But we have lots of things in common, too. I like to go in Buenos Aires to see live tango. Mm. There are some like little, like like the botecos here, uh -huh. but um, with, uh, you know, uh, some singers, live singers, just a singer and a guitar player. Uh -huh. It's like, I don't know, it's like, you know, you get like, <gasps> wow. Because here in Brazil, samba is, is very special for us. I mean, we really enjoy it, you know. I'm gonna show you tonight. <laughs> and after these 215 steps, exactly. I mean, <laughs> we're burning some calories. <laughs> it's not recommended to take this path at night for safety reasons. Even locals avoid walking in the neighborhoods during nighttime. Our first destination is Rio's Village, Boho neighborhood, home to a flourishing artist community, Santa Teresa. I don't know if it's the mountain air, but you will instantly fall in love with this place. Life flows at a slower pace up here, hidden in the hillside above the central part of the city, with cobblestone streets and beautiful colonial buildings. Santa is a hot spot for tourists and genuine cariocas. It has no beaches, no traffic, and lots of charm. If you have some trouble getting here, don't give up. Taxis sometimes refuse to make the claim worried about the bumpy roads. You can also use the small buses that leave from Lapa, get some exercise by going by foot, or take the charming tram, our famous Bonjean. Now we've managed to make the trek up the hill. It's time to be rewarded at the Espiritu Santa restaurant. The restaurant offers inventive Brazilian dishes inspired by the honor Amazonian roots and strikes a good balance between relaxed style and devotion to the tale. Take a seat on the back terrace or inside the charming dining room and enjoy the dishes from the Amazon and Northeastern Brazil. Então, vou te trazer uns drinks agora, uma caipirinha. Caipirinha? Tá? Yeah, of course. Ah. Depois eu vou, vou trazer um peixe com molho de da Amazônia. Ok, então. Okay. Pode trazer pra gente, obrigada. Com licença. We're gonna have a fish with um, a sauce from Amazonia. Wow. How exotic, How exotic isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I was talking to you about this neighborhood. I mean, I love this place because you can find a cinema, theater, and a lot of artists live here actually. So, um, actors live here, singers, nice. all kind of people. Yeah, I would love to live here. To start, we had the deep fried bananas and tambaqui croquettes served with a pesto made of jambu, an Amazonian leafy green. Mm. I love it. So let me see this one here. I think I'm going to go on the hand. Argentine. 
Tea barbecue is very famous, right? Yes, it is. It is. So, so have you ever tried our Brazilian barbecue? I did actually, yes. The ritual is different because you spend the whole day like drinking and eating little slices and, uh -huh. and we just sit and we eat meat and meat and meat. It's like a dinner, you know, or a lunch. Let's make a deal. Yes. You teach me how to dance tango and I'll teach you how to dance samba. Oh man. What do you Unfortunately think? I can't because I don't know how to dance tango. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. But I would love to learn how to dance samba. Okay. Tonight, I'll right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll teach you. I'll promise. For lunch, we've ordered the namorado, a meaty white river fish from the Amazon coated in Pará nuts, aka Brazil nuts. Simply cook it atop crispy heart of palm fries. Obrigada. Espectacular. Let's try it. Yes. So after our lunch, what do you think about going to a museum? Great! And there's one that I haven't been to yet. Nice. And look, I'm from Rio, I live Rio. <laughs> After this genuine Brazilian feast, I walk to enjoy. This breezy hilltop seems like the perfect call. Our next stop, Chácara do Céu Museum, is not very far. This is an intimate place to appreciate quality paintings and enjoy this stunning view. The gardens were designed by a famous Brazilian landscape artist, Roberto Burlimax, and offer a fascinating view of downtown Rio. By the way, Chácara do Céu stands for Heavenly State. The past is brought to life by the two original rooms of the Castro Maya residence. The library, and the dining room. So, if you're into modern art, you will love this place. The former mansion of the industrialist and art patron contains a small but a diversified part of his collection. We are talking about names such as Portinari, Di Cavalcante, Ligia Clark, Miró, Matisse. It's a good way to spend an afternoon in Rio. So, take your time at this hidden art sanctuary. Now it's time to leave the charming Chácara do Céu Museum and visit the famous Craftworks stores at the Largo dos Guimarães. Santa's charming streets are lined with stores and galleries selling everything from colorful arts and crafts to funky homeware and vintage clothes. It's a great place to buy unique gifts beyond the classic rubber flip-flops. It's impossible to resist the stores, with products made by local artists and artisans. All these colors will make your day. A galeria ela já vai fazer mais ou menos oito anos aqui em Santa Teresa. Antigamente era um bar, um bar bem tradicional do bairro. Era o único bar pé sujo mesmo, que as pessoas chegavam, tomavam uma cerveja, bebiam uma cachaça. Depois a dona resolveu passar o ponto, aí nós pegamos o ponto e fundamos essa galeria. A galeria se chama Camaioc Ruaz, significa em Quechua, que significa é, casa do artesão, casa do artista, que é a minha casa atualmente. Entendeu? Então tem inúmeros artistas aqui, a gente tem mais ou menos uns 30, 40 artistas que expõem comigo aqui na galeria. Eu tenho meus trabalhos, que é essa sistemática aqui das favelas, entendeu? E tem outros, tem outros artistas que expõem aqui, tem escultor, tem pintor, tem fotógrafo, entendeu? Tem a, é, design de joias, tem, tem bastante gente aqui dentro. 
só somando com a galeria. Então, o meu trabalho atualmente, eu tô, eu tô trabalhando em cima de comida, porque na época da Copa do Mundo vieram muita gente para os jogos, né? Então, é, muita gente encomendaram o meu trabalho. Então, até hoje, por exemplo, esse quadro aqui é uma encomenda que eu tenho que despachar para Seattle, né? Seattle ou Seattle? Não sei. É Seattle, Seattle. Bem, vai para fora. E tem uma fila de espera até fevereiro do ano que vem, entendeu? Então, é, tá bombando. Graças a Deus, meus trabalhos, as pessoas veem, gostam, encomendam e estão tocando a bola, entendeu? vocês gostam? Vamos começando por aí. Música boa. Música boa. É. Olha aqui, ó. Um, dois, três, quatro, cinco. Bete Carvalho, tá? Que eu te mostrei. Andava muito na Lapa, na Boemia. A Lapa, a Boemia, a coisa mais linda do mundo. Música boa, minha filha. Pelo amor de Deus. Era um samba, boa música, sabe? Eu ia pra dançar na Lapa, eu gosto de dançar, eu adoro dançar, né? It's time to say goodbye to the bucolic atmosphere of Santa Teresa and get the party started. So, Lapa, here we go! This beloved Bohemian district is inevitable. The Lapa Arch Tower over Lapa is a colonial centerpiece. This is one of the city's most iconic symbols. A small one, a medium one? Um, I think a small one is good. Yeah? Yes. Uh, então, uma pequena de limão para ela e um de limão também. So it's lime, sugar, ice, cachaça. The Roman-style monument surroundings become an open-air party almost every night, especially on weekends. Street stands serve cheap drinks and food. For anyone planning a crazy night out, free drinking starts right here. If samba is not your thing, fear not, you will fit in. Everyone does. At Lapa, you will find traditional botecos next to trendy bars. But tonight, we are drinking like a carioca, in the street, under the moon and stars. The relaxed atmosphere is awesome for milling with locals and travelers from all over the world. So, be prepared. Friends are easily made here. Our Bohemian journey is nearing its high point. You know what? I'll take you to the real deal. Are you ready to rock the house tonight, baby? <laughs> of course. Okay, so join me in. And as we would say here, vamos botar pra quebrar. Vamos. And to close the night with the golden key. It's time to keep Santo Cristo for the Unidos at Juca Santa School rehearsal. Let me tell you a secret. The 
Carioca Bohemian lifestyle is mostly samba fueled. It's pretty clear Rio was the birthplace of samba and hosts one of the biggest carnivals of the world. It's like you can breathe it in the air. For us, this Afro-Brazilian rhythm is not just a passion, it has become a powerful tradition. Here, you learn a lot about the Carioca spirit. Although, this is not a samba teach institution, as its name might suggest, okay? Real samba schools are more like social clubs, and each represents a specific neighborhood of Rio de Janeiro in the annual samba parade. Olha, a Tijuca me representa uma alegria muito grande de viver dentro do mundo do samba. Nós somos uma família tijucana. Nós não somos só Tijuca para brincar carnaval. Nós somos uma família. O carnaval é coisa séria. O carnaval é cultura. E muita gente não sabe que o carnaval é cultura. O carnaval é coisa séria. Muito séria mesmo. Para quem entende do carnaval. Para quem não entende, acha que o carnaval é oba-oba. Mas não é. O carnaval é cultura. also known as Quadra, of the Unidos da Tijuca Samba School, the third oldest in Brazil. This real deal school from the Tijuca district is already at full power rehearsal mode for carnival. is also known by its annual song themes, or some enredos. In fact, the next Carnival's enredo is being voted today. Unidos da Tijuca will be paying homage to one of the founders of popular Brazilian music, Luiz Gonzaga. Carnival, you must go to a samba school rehearsal to get the feeling of this magical event. You won't regret it. They charge a small admission fee and the drinks are not expensive. So what a day! Yeah, it was Oh, you're already tired, right? I am. But did you enjoy it? I had so much fun. Really? Because yes. I, I just bring you here because this is so special for yes, me. It is. You know, and I think everybody should live it, should experience it. Here it really does feel the, the real vibe, the, the, you know, you see the little girls, uh -huh. since they are really little, dancing in such a natural way, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and I think this is very spe special to see. You, you spend a whole day yeah. with our crew yes. together, living this uh, whole crazy. Yeah, and, and a karaoke crew, so I could feel also like you guys, you know, you're really nice people. I just have a question. Yes. Is Rio too different from all you have, you've seen uh, in the movies, in the magazines, in the websites? You know, in the magazines we have the pictures of the beach and uh, and when you're in there, I think that the people make the difference. Oh, that's yeah. nice of you. Yeah. Really, it was such a pleasure to meet you. I really had fun. So, thank you so much for you. Yeah. Accept my invitation. And I hope to see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> The sound of the battery echoing in the silver horn 
It was indescribable, isn't it? I really hope you had a blast. You were so lucky to enjoy Rio's Bohemian side. So, see you all next. Enjoy Rio. Bye.